Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Techno DBA. This channel is created for DBAs to gain the knowledge and learn how to perform day-to-day -day activities. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about enable and disable of database archive logs. So we are just going to discuss about how to enable and disable. So in my current database, uh, this uh, archiving is uh, disabled. We can check using archive log list command. So here you can see it's a disabled mode. So I'll tell you what we need exactly to enable the archive log file. Okay, I'll just list down the things. So first we need is archive destination. Archive destination. Second we need is log archive format. And then log archive start. Start. So these parameters we need to set before enabling the archive log file. Archive destination will be used to store the archive logs files. So make sure you have sufficient space uh, based on your uh, database size. So that can be set using ultra system command. Then you need to set the format of the archive log files, uh, the naming format. So it's basically, it's already present in my database. I'll show you, show parameter archive log format. Show parameter archive, oh, it's log archive format. So it's uh, this is the value we need to use. Okay, this is by default given by database, and the parameter log archive start. So this is set to false, so it should be true, and I'll see this uh, log archive test as well. Archive distance is blank, so we need to set that before enabling the archive log file. So I'll set it up. Okay, I'll first set it up the archive log based ultra system log archive dist equal to. I'm going to set this uh, this path. equal to both okay okay I am just missing this set param command so it's changed you can see using archive log list command so you can see it's set now uh, as we already have this log archive format set we don't need to set it again I'll just set this parameter to true. Ultra system set true scope equal to both. That's not required. It's by default both. So I'm just Okay, uh, this uh, parameter needs uh, actually this needs uh, restart of the database. So I'm just using the scope equal to SP file format. So still I have changed, but uh, you cannot see that. Okay, it's still false. Once we restart this, it will be set to true. Okay, we are all set. Now I need to restart the database. The database should be in mount mode, mount mode to enable the archive log. I'm going to just shut down the database. It will take a while to start the database. Okay, you can see this no archive log mode. All right. Database closed, database dismounted. Now 
Oracle instance shutdown should be there. Okay, it's down. I'll just uh, put the database in mount mode as the requirement. Okay, there are some parameters which are not supported in 19C database. I'm just going to ignore that thing. Okay. I'll just list down the command. This is alter database archive log. Okay. It's processing. Okay, database is mounted straight now. Just fire this command. Alter database archive log. All right. Now open the database. Alter database open. All right, now I'll just see if it changed archive log list. So this archive mode is enabled now. I'll see this parameter as well, okay. All right, it is set to true. And in this location as of now, you can't see any file, but I'll try to generate that, okay. Alter system switch. file two three no, all right you can see three files okay uh, similarly we can perform this uh, uh, disabling as well so for disabling just shut, shut down the database so for enabling and disabling you just need to be need to set this uh, database in mount mode i'll just change this parameter to false first okay and i'm going to shut down the database show immediate shut immediate all these commands are same okay for disabling the archive log just need command with the database no archive log you can use these uh, things for your reference okay. database is closed now database is dismounted now oracle database shut down Okay, I'll put this database in mount mode again. Start of mount. I'm just copying this command. Once database is mounted, I'll put that command in the command prompt. Every time we start, it will show the memory parameters. All right, now open the database, alter database, open. Now check archive 
long list. So it's no archive and that is disabled. See what happens if we try to switch log file. Okay. It's getting switched, but it's not generating archives. Okay. So as it is in no archive mode. Okay guys, that's it from the video. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.